I want to ask, what is anti-Semitism? I mean, Muslims are often told that we are anti-Semitic. And I want to understand what it, what it is. What, what exactly is anti-Semitism? Is anti-Semitism the hatred of all Jews, uh, no matter what good they do in the world, no matter what they believe in this world? Um, if it's that, and you happen to be part of the community of Jews, and you're, people hate you just because you were born into that community, then clearly that's wrong. But I can tell you now, no Muslim believes that. It's not in our Quran. Our Quran clearly states that, uh, that there are uh, um, some amongst the Jews who are good. So there is no Muslim who believes in the Quran that is anti-Semitic. Fact. However, anti-Semitism, as far as Muslims are concerned, seems to branch out to be anything that Jewish Zionists in particular don't like. We as... Just think about it rationally. Do we have to... Um, believe or accept the Jewish religion? Can, can we critique it? Can we understand it? Can we, can we disagree with it at, at all without being anti-Semitic? Can we even mention it or do we have to just be silent about it? How can every other religion on this earth be critiqued but not the Jewish religion? So Muslims have a right to critique it, especially if that religion is linked with the political ideology of Zionism. Now some people will claim that it's not linked. Some people will say um, that they're not connected at all. That's something that, that, that's a matter for them to, to believe, but it's not something that many Muslims believe, and I certainly don't believe it. If the Jewish religion is not linked to the Zionist ideology, why is Israel even in Palestine? Why is that in, in the geographical area? Why wasn't it, um, um, you know, as originally considered, in Uganda? Because the Jewish um, Congress rejected it being anywhere else in Palestine, because that, that's a scriptural belief, that's a Jewish... Uh, um, religious belief that Israel was there. Um, why is the Star of David on on the Israeli flag if it's nothing to if if, if the Jewish nation is not um, religiously motivated? Why do they have no borders? Israel has never declared its borders because there is a messianic vision that drives its foreign policy that Israel will be an empire in that region. And you're seeing they're destroying the Middle East uh, um, uh, in order for, for for the Jewish empire to exist. So cannot, as far as I'm concerned, divorce Jewish religion and Zionist ideology. Or at least there's questions to be asked there. And what I find with, 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 with Jews um, and, and their liberal supporters is that many of them try to shut that down and claim that it's anti-Semitic to, to, to even consider it. Why? Why is it okay to consider Christianity's roots with slavery or colonialism? Why is that fine to talk about, but not Jewish roots to um, um, uh, uh, Islamophobia uh, uh, and their religious um, um, belief uh, and how that impacts Israel today. What, why? What, what's the difference? What, why can we do one but not the other? Why do newspapers constantly say, has Islam got an extremism problem? Is it linked to faith? But we can't talk about the extremism problem linked to Jewish faith. It's a question. Who, where, we don't know what the right answer is, but it's something that surely we should be able to discuss. And Muslims um, seem to be the only people in the world that are gagged uh, or refuse the right even to analyze our own oppression especially when it comes to, to 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 the jewish community on what grounds have they got a right to call us anti-semitic when we are trying to understand why we're being killed and why are their liberal friends more interested in how jewish jews feel their sensibilities around their oppression or their their, their, their people's oppression of Muslims in Palestine and beyond. Why can Muslims not understand or talk about the Jewish involvement in the attack on Iraq and the Jewish involvement in the neocons? Why can other Jews, for example, Haaretz talked about 25 Jew, Jews being instrumental in the destruction of uh, Iraq. So why can other Jews talk about it, but we can't talk about it and, and, and be anti-Semitic? So we can be murdered, and mi millions of people can be murdered, uh, uh, but we just can't try to analyze and understand and work out why why that happened or who did it because if we did then clearly we're anti-semitic can you see how diabolical that is can you see what a cover and a, a oppressive cover that is to maintain the status quo of oppression so that we can never truly understand it and thus never stop it if we can't talk about it how can we understand it and if we can't understand it how can we stop it so in fact, anti-Semitism, political anti-Semitism, manufactured anti-Semitism, is a way of silencing and gagging critics uh, um, uh, of Jewish Zionism and in never enabling us to overthrow our oppression. 
So I would say that we need to stop that. We need to stop pretending that, that there is no Jewish involvement. There is Jews that are non-Zionists, I don't doubt that, but they're a minority. Stop pretending they're not. Even those Jews will accept they are a minority. All polls say that between 70 to 95% of Jews support Israel. That's a fraction who, don't, who, who are pro-Palestinian. So the, 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 the question is, if they support Israel and they are Islamophobic, and, 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 and there are widely um, credible reports that, that have proven Jewish um, involvement in Islamophobia in the West, both the funding and the involvement, then why can't we talk about that? How dare they claim that's anti-Semitic? How can the victim never talk about the victimizer? How, why are we racist for trying to understand why we're dying? You, do you see? It's a politically motivated gag and it's unjust. And so all I'm trying to say to Muslims is, why have you allowed that to happen? Why have you allowed them to win that argument? Why have you allowed liberals to, to, who, who are no friends, I'm, I'm sorry, if they're more interested in how Jews feel about uh, Palestinians be, you know, calling them Jews when they're being murdered, then they're no friends of the Palestinians. They're no friends of the Muslims. If, if, if we can get massacred around the world and Jewish lobbies push it, and they simply say, well, don't, 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 you, don't, don't, don't call them Jewish lobbies, pretend they don't exist, then are they, do they really support us? Are they really helping us? They're, they're, they're not inter interested in us. They're not interested in our blood, our oppression, our feelings. They're, they're more interested in the people oppressing us. Now, I accept that there's, you know, as, as I've said earlier on, that Jews who, who support the Palestinians, support the Muslims, uh, are not Zionists. Uh, as a community, we shouldn't hate them. They don't, just because someone happens to be Jewish, don't hate them for that reason. But I do think we should oppose them when their political or religious beliefs are immoral and, and, and end up harming uh, um, um, people around the world. And then surely it becomes an obligation on a Muslim and a non-Muslim for that, to, to call that out. So no, I, I don't buy that as soon as you mention the word Jew or Jewish, um, it, you're anti-Semitic. Or if you look at Jewish history and find n negative aspects of it, you're anti-Semitic. Or if you, you know, say anything that a Jew doesn't like, that happens, th that you're anti-Semitic. These are just stupid arguments that cover uh, um, a Jewish oppression. No, uh, uh, anti-Semitism to, to, can only be a moral wrong if it's morally wrong. You can't just claim everything's anti-Semitic because it makes you, uh, allows you to become invisible as a community and all your evil deeds to disappear. I'm sorry, that, 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 that's an un injustice on the people that you're, that, who are suffering because of your deeds. So it's something that we need to talk about, think about, and um, we need to push back on. We, they don't tell our story. They don't tell us how we react. They don't manage our emotions anymore. They don't tell us what words we can and can't use. We decide. The victim decides. It's our lives that are suffering. We make the decisions as to what we feel is justified to overthrow our oppressor and, 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 and understand our oppression. Thanks.